This actually wouldn't be bad for filming. Mm. What is up, gremlins? Welcome back. So, kind of a new look, I know, but like I was taking bookstagram pictures and I think I look somewhat decent, so I said, might as well film a video. And I recently just bought the second book to one of my favorite series of all time, and I figured, you know, why not make a little gushing video about it? Tell everyone, you know, why it's so close to my heart, what I love about it, and it's not, this ain't gonna be a long video, I just need to post content. <laughs> but anyways, those books are the Green Creek series by TJ Klune, and that is Wolf Song and Raven Song. As of right now, this is a two book series. The third book, Heart Song, does not come out until November or October of this year, I believe. But this is a paranormal werewolf romance featuring wizards, witches, and so far, that's it. Don't know what TJ Klune has in store for the rest of the series, but as of right now, it's just witches and werewolves. But this is an LGBTQIA plus story series, and it is phenomenal. My dear friend Chandler recommended this book to me back in October, and I ended up binging the whole thing in a day. And when I read it, it was an iBook copy, so it was like 700 pages, and then she bought me this because I was going through a really rough time in my life and she bought me this and it just made my life 10 times better. But seriously, I cannot express to you guys how much I love this series, this book and Raven Song too because both of these are phenomenal and I am just amazed by how excellent these are. So anyways, a quick overview of what a Wolf Song is about. This is about a young boy by the name of Ox. His younger life is trash and just, I feel bad for my boy, but I love him and like he's precious and just, ooh woo. Anyways, the reason that I love this book, well, plot wise, is because you get to see Ox from when he's like around six years old all the way till he's about 20, Eight twenty-seven. On his sixteenth birthday, he finds this little boy waiting for him on the on the edge of the road while he's walking home from work. And this little boy is really different. He's like sniffing him, and it was like you know a little awkward. And from there, Ox meets this family known as the Bennets. And the Bennets used to live in Green Creek years ago, and they're finally back due to some reasons that obviously I'm not gonna say. And Ox's life just gets mixed in with the Bennets, and from there on out, it's just Ox and just living with werewolves. Now, obviously, um, he doesn't know they are werewolves right off the bat so it's like him discovering them living his life with them and like learning their backstory and history and then this is a age gap romance which I know um a lot of people don't like but that's my kink so like yeah that's probably why it's one of my favorites uh the romance is so good it's not really a smutty read for being a romance novel there's maybe like two very explicit sex scenes but like they don't okay one of them lasts about 16 pages and i know this because i've read it way too many times then the other one only lasts like three pages so it's not that bad but overall one of the best lgbtqiap plus wrote uh books i've ever read in my entire life but what makes these so fantastic is that every single book features a male male relationship so of course i'm in love uh this raven song features a different set of characters now it's the same cast but it's two different main characters this time and every book from now on from then on out is going to also change cast so heart song is about two other characters and heart song is also going to have an asexual main character so like awesome tj clune is just so good at um inclusiveness but um he's queer i don't really know what he identifies as i don't know if he's gay or bi or pan so i'm just gonna say queer but he's amazing he writes amazing he writes amazing lgbt characters and i keep looking at the books i'm sorry i'm gonna put them down but if you're looking for a really good gay romance to start i definitely recommend these the writing is phenomenal the world building is phenomenal and the characters you just feel for them so much tj clune is such a master with words i feel like every chapter i was just being blown away by how he was weaving the story and the turns and the twists and oh my gosh it's just so good but yeah this is gonna end up being like a five minute video because i'm gushing so much but if and again as i said if you're looking for a really good series i definitely recommend these and chandler if you're watching this i mean you're probably not but like thank you for recommending me the most beautiful books i've ever read in my entire life i'm gonna cherish these i'm gonna love these and just yeah love them forever but 
I'm always on the lookout for more LGBT um, paranormal romances. So if you've read any that you completely love, because I haven't read a lot, so I'm always on the lookout for more, um, drop those down in the comments below. Let's make my TBR bigger because why not? Anyways, yeah, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this. Um, I feel like it's gonna be a big hot mess or if you've made it this far, then you already know it's a big hot mess. But I'm in a really good mood. I don't feel ugly today. So yeah, um, thanks for coming out. Thanks for watching, guys. And for now, adios. Uh.